You go study up on what morality actually is, because it ain't cheating on your wife. I met your wife. She was really kind, and it's gross to what you do to her behind her back when you go to conservative conferences without her. Don't you ever speak on my family and my family business before you get to your family life together. Cheater. <laughs> Holy <laughs> He cooked him. I ain't gonna lie. I, don't, I ain't gonna lie. He getting cooked. My gosh. Christian Walker. You all may know him as probably one of the most annoying human beings on the face of the earth. He's loud. He screams. He loves Starbucks. He's like mixed. You know, you know how it is. He was kind of crushing on Hassan Piker when he went to go visit him at his house, but he wouldn't admit it. They, they look like they made such a cute couple. We're not going to be talking about House on Pecker here. Uh, he's busy somewhere doing something. I don't really know. Something I do know something about is uh, about our good boy, Christian Walker, friend of the stream, Christian Walker, who uh, has been a little offline ever since his dad, Herschel Walker, uh, lost, the, lost the general election and the runoff in Georgia a couple of weeks ago now to uh, radical liberal Raphael Warnock. Now, obviously... Even though he wasn't talking too much about it, it doesn't mean like a lot of other people weren't thinking about it and wondering about it, right? And obviously, it was only going to take some time until somebody was going to call out Christian by name and uh, blame him for what happened in Georgia. And so I would like to show you a little bit of this. And I have to tell you, it didn't end up too well for him. Let's take a look at uh, another friend of the stream, Elijah Schaefer. Really thankful for Herschel Walker's son for helping Democrats secure another seat in the Senate. Nobody is better at electing Democrats than Republicans. Really spectacular job this round. All the criticism from our own base. Lack of support from Mitch. 10 out of 10 every time. As Brendan Straka once said uh, at an event I attended, hell hath no fury like a pissed off gay man. <laughs> Happy Pride, y'all. Now, I. Just so you know, I'm not sure if Elijah Schaefer got brutally beat and clubbed upside the head, making um, throwing him into a uh, massive concussion for which he now no longer knows what date it is. But it is um, December. It is not Pride Month at all. It's actually nowhere near Pride Month, actually. Um, it's pretty bad, I must say. But he was a bad candidate. If you're a Republican and say something like this, then you should switch parties. This wasn't about the candidate. Come on, buddy. G Come on. Be honest. Come on. Come on. This was about the c control of the Senate and gridlock. Bigger picture, only immature and small minded were blinded by their own egos to notice. It's just, listen, he's going to be in office for six years, bro. It's not, it's, it's more, it's about more than that. <laughs> if he wants to be able to do gridlock in Congress, have you ever thought about him being a good parent? Have you ever thought about him like, um, I don't know, trying not to kill his wife and kids? Has that ever crossed his mind? I don't know. I guess not. But when this happened, Christian Walker decided to emerge from the darkness and hit Elijah Schaefer with one of the most devastating this use I've seen in my entire life. And so he said this, I recommend you not come for me. Oh, I'll tell your wife how you had sex with my friend at Turning Points event in 2021 while you were married to her. I don't like cheaters. This loser was fired from his job for sexual assault and then also banged my friend four times in one night at a conservative conference while he was married and she didn't know. Get your family life together before you speak on mine, adulterer. This <laughs> Jeez, bro. Yo, Christian, calm down. Calm down. Hey, listen, remember? Remember when uh when Elijah typed this? Hell hath no fury like a pissed off gay man. Remember that? Remember when he said that? And then he decided to still tweet this anyways, like he thought he was gonna get an own or something? Like he thought he it was gonna be a big W? Average conservative. My man's like, I can't believe you didn't help your father who tried to. I can't believe you didn't help your father who domestically abused you for the, your entire life and lied about how many um uh, siblings that I had, hid them from me, aborted my other ones, and then never treated me as a human being until it, until it mattered uh, for his political campaign. They're all like, yo, screw that. I, I had to type this out myself, bro. 
I'm not going to lie. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him keep cooking. I don't know what's going on, but like apparently Christian Walker has dirt on like everybody in the conservative movement. They've just seen him say stuff. He's just been he's just been making moves in the background. And this is wild. Let's go drama. I know. This is some serious drama, right? This is like I mean, I mean, for a conservative, especially like a Christian conservative, right? Like this is this is bad. This is bad. I think he said I like I I know for a fact Elijah Schaefer was he was fired from the blaze right he used to be like a host on the blaze but he was fired from the blaze because he committed sexual assault against a co-worker right yeah the girls are fighting and and he also said that his boss was going to hell because he was a jew right Th- those those were those two things that got him to lose like the job that he had and now he just kind of posts on tiktok which i mean all right what the fuck i think he's like a hardcore catholic and he's like because you don't believe in like God the right way, you are going to hell. You're a good boy, but you're going to hell, Jew boy. I hope you enjoy hell, Jew boy. It was it was wild stuff. Okay, let me see if I can look this up actually. Yeah, here we go. Glenn Beck. Oh yes, it was Glenn Beck. I forgot. He was tweeting that Glenn Beck is going to go to hell because he's a Jew. I forgot about that. So yeah, there we go. Now I remember. It's all starting to come together. Glenn Beck. Fired star podcaster Elijah Schaefer after sexual assault alle- uh, accusations. So yeah, this I guess this was just like the um, this was the last straw, saying everybody in the office was going to go to hell very soon. You go to hell, and then sexually assaulting somebody. I guess that was the last straw. Then he they couldn't keep him around anymore. Just looking for people to fire. You really hate to see it. On September twenty fourth, the Blaze announced on Twitter uh, on Twitter that Schaefer had been terminated for violating company policies and standards after an investigation regarding a personal matter. Schaefer, a prominent conservative commentator who boasts more than 400,000, 70,000 followers on Twitter, uh, confirmed his firing on the site and said it was a long time coming. It was a long time coming? You were being a goofball there for like so long that you knew that you were going to get fired? Schaefer's firing surprised many in the right-wing media. This sounds about right. Schaefer's ouster was, in fact, the result of a weeks-long internal investigation into the allegations that he had groped a colleague's breast without her consent. According to one person close to the incident, in uh, late August, Schaefer was accused of groping Sarah Gonzalez, another host at The Blaze, without her consent at a film premiere. Schaefer didn't respond to requests for comment. Gonzalez, the Blaze, and Beck, and the founder also didn't provide a comment. Uh, the details of Schaefer's firing were made public on Tuesday in a live stream by Ethan Ralph, the far-right internet personality who's classed with Schaefer in the past. Uh, the allegation incident took place on August 26th in the uh, premiere of Uncle Tom, the s- Uncle Tom 2. Uncle Tom 2. It's time to get whipped into shape. <laughs> Uncle Tom 2, whipped into shape. Uh... A conservative film that Schaefer co-produced, Gonzalez and Schaefer uh, were seated next to each other in the theater, according to that picture that Schaefer tweeted before the film. As the film played, according to the complaint made to management at The Blaze, it described uh, to Beast as an intoxicated Schaefer began to grope her breasts. Yeah, yeah. Two, the sequel? Yeah, they did. Oh, you forgot about uh, the hit movie Uncle Tom 1? Oh, come on. Come on, you guys gotta you guys gotta get your stuff in order. What's this? Jury sides with big cheese and mozzarella family feud. Wait, what? Wait, no, I'm getting distracted. Anyways, 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 back to this poor woman who got assaulted. <laughs> and this is why he got fired, okay? So obviously, Elijah Schaefer doesn't have a good history when it comes to treating women well. Guys married, having sex like how old is Christian Walker? Like 21, 22? Like he's my, he's like my age, right? So how, like Elijah Schaefer is like reasonably old, right? Like how, how old are the girls he, he's trying to pull? How old are the girls he's trying to pull? He's 23. Yikes, bro. What's going on here? Chill out, brother. What the heck? Facebook. Wait, let me see. Do, uh, what's his age? Does he have his age on? Does, does it have his birthday? Wait, does he have his birthday on here? No, dumbass. Where's your birthday? How old is this man? He's 29. Yikes. Born in 1993, 29. Bro, you for Oh my gosh. All right. Well, thank you. Very cool. Very cool. All right. And obviously, everybody in the comment section for this was like, what was he cooking? Who's next? 
huge mistake. Herschel Walker's son, Christian, is is a black, gay, young, very smart, independently minded, and is going to be driving liberals absolutely crazy for a long time to come. So true. Huge mistake. Massive mistake. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if uh, Glenn Greenwald knew the type of L that he was going to be dropping on the on the conservative party when he was hyping up Christian Walker like this, because boy, you truly are a messy bitch who lives for drama. Keep calling out the fake Republican rhinos. Keep calling out the fake Republic rhinos. Thank you for your tireless service, Mr. Walker, sir. It had to be said. I mean, it's true. It did have to be said. It, it did have to be said. I'm not going to lie. And then here's a conservative. So in lashing out at him publicly, uh, you hurt his wife. Bro, you hurt his wife. This is helping his wife. Wait, pardon me. If somebody cheats on their partner, you don't tell your partner. Not You don't tell their partner. Not because you want to protect the person, but you want to protect their partner. Listen, do you know how bad his wife will feel when you tell her that he was cheating on her? Come on. Think of the wife, man. How, how disrespectful can you be? Come on, man. She wasn't supposed to know that. You know how bad she'll be. She'll be so upset. <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't tell her part. Don't tell my partner I cheated on her. Can you imagine how mad she'll be? She'll start crying. You don't want women to cry, do you? What are you, some kind of woman hater? You trying to make women cry? How can you be like that? Yeah, this is massive cheater logic. You're bleeding all over those who did. Who you're bleeding all over those who did nothing to do you. Who who did nothing to hurt you? I think Elijah Schaefer, the dude who cheated on his wife, hurt Elijah Schaefer's wife. True, true and based. Wild, remarkable, isn't it? And then Christian Walker, he wasn't done. If you thought that Walker was done, he wasn't. He he came out with this. Elijah wants to act like he's some moral, high and mighty, better than everyone man. He was fired from his job for inappropriate behavior. And not even a year ago at a conservative conference, he did my friend four times in one night, unprotected. Oh my gosh. Unprotected, yo, that's crazy. Also, but, but brother, how do you have all these details? I know she's your friend and everything, but like, good Lord, this is, this is a massive dump, a huge dump, big, massive dumps. My man cheating on, cheating on his wife, I guess twice, right? Because he got fired from his job for, he got fired from his job for getting too drunk and sexually assaulting a woman. And then after he sexually assaulted a woman, he then, my bad, he, oh, my bad. This is what he's talking, what Walker's talking about now happened before uh he sexually assaulted that woman at the blaze so he has sex with multiple he has sex with women who aren't his wife while he's married and then he like sexually assaults a woman at his job he actually my man actually can't keep his hands to himself he's piping hot tea slay say more he should say more because not here we'll, we'll talk about it a little later but but yeah this is wild and no and no protection really you, you, you're going to risk bringing bugs back to your, to your, uh, to your wife like that? Really? Keep cooking? Yeah, he's got a whole crock pot. This is the, this is the delicious last course. While he was married, go get your family life and your morality together, adulterer. You go study up on what morality actually is because it ain't cheating on your wife. I met your wife. She was really kind and it's gross to what you do to her behind her back when you go to conservative conferences without her. Don't you ever speak on my family and my family business before you get to your family life together. Cheater. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> he cooked him. I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. He getting cooked. My gosh. Oh no. Can you imagine being Elijah Schaefer right now? This I've never seen somebody get like the the only other time I saw somebody get bodied this hard for after they um they they criticized somebody was when Train Rex did it to Mizkiff. When Chain Rex like just out of nowhere dropped a nuke on on Mizkiff's entire life <laughs> with that like sexual assault cover up stuff. Mom like man what my bad? There's another one, but I'm going to talk about that like sometime later. I can't talk about that now, but like, this is bad. Also, oh, what was that last picture? Cheater. Also, this goes hard. I'm sorry. Like, can you imagine watching this? Like every, your, your wife's calling you. You're scared to pick up. You got a hotel. You don't want to go home. You know, everybody's blowing up your phone. Family life together. 
Cheater. When you see that. Moods tonight. Me, Elijah Schaefer. No, bro. You're not going to do it to him. Oh, no. It's bad. It's bad. And just when you thought it was bad, remember, just because it's bad doesn't mean it, can, it can't get worse. Because, boy, did it get worse. So this is a comment that Elijah Schaefer made. I think an hour after Christian Walker dropped his tweet. Okay, and then he's like, obviously, yeah, defund consultants. Hey, my good good friend of the stream, Ravana, hide this reply if you cheated on your wife. And then just, oh my, it's, <laughs> oh no, oh, it keeps going. Oh, they're blocked. Oh no, it just, Married to wife. He has kids. He did this to his kids. And, it, and I promise you, okay, this isn't even it. This isn't even it. The hidden replies. Have you ever tried running? Uh, not so. Have you tried running? Not so fascist, stupid fucks. Your career is cooked, bro. Log off. Weren't you caught with a ton, with a <laughs> with a ton of child material? That's great. Hey, Elijah. Why'd you cheat on your wife in 2021? Hey, Elijah, did you see this? Hey, man, why are you cheating on your wife? Hey, don't you have a wife to cheat on? <laughs> Dude, why would you cheat on your wife? What happened to traditional family values? Bro, I got to I got to be honest with you. I'm hearing conservatives cheat on their partners more than I hear leftist lefties cheat on their partners these days. You know what I mean? Like, aren't we supposed to be the who cares moral subjectivity? I do whatever I want when I want. Who cares about what other people think? And then like conservatives are just like they letting they they letting their like genitals hang, bro. They letting they like coochie hang like Elijah's a slut. Can we be honest with ourselves? Can we do a little bit of slut shaming really quick? Elijah's a slut. OK, Elijah's a whore. He really is. Can we like let, let's be honest with ourselves, OK? Why even hide tweets? Yeah, at this point, why even hide tweets? Like, everybody's going to see him. Everybody's going to cook you for it. You know what's bad? Yeah, finally cook. Uh, he mad? Oh, he's really, really mad, okay? If you want to know how mad he actually is, you can just take a look at his profile right now. And if you just take a look, it's just, hey, do you notice this? You see this? Only people he mentions can reply. So he... Completely shut off after getting roasted. He completely shut off his comments on his videos for like the rest of the rest of time. So he's getting zero comments anymore on any of the stuff that he tweets because people are just going to roast him over and over and over again. They're just going to obliterate him, bro. It is over for this guy. I don't know when he's ever going to be able to turn comments back on, but it's not going to be anytime soon. Let me let me tell you, OK? This guy, whore, slut, filthy, nasty, fugly skank bitch, all right, with a stinky pussy, come out here trying to tell us, trying to trying to dunk on Christian Walker for, and let me be honest, okay? Let me be honest with my, I genuinely do feel bad for Christian Walker. Like, I don't, I don't like Christian Walker. We're not friends. We're not besties or anything. I highly disagree with him, and I think he's kind of like a stuck-up bitch and a pretty, like, entitled, um... A pretty entitled, this bad very real. guy who dunks on poor people for simply being poor, right? Um, and getting, like, shitted on by the system. I don't think he's a good guy, but no matter what, Christian's story is pretty sad, right? Like, we talk about Herschel Walker a lot, but everything that we can make fun of Herschel Walker for, Christian Walker had to deal with while growing up, okay? Like, the mood swings, the abuse, the attempting to kill him and his wife, the uh, him and yeah, him and his yeah, well, him and his mother, right? Herschel Walker's wife, Christian Walker's mom, the disappearing of his his family members, him not even knowing. Honestly, can you imagine waking up really not knowing how many like family members you actually have, um, how many siblings you actually have, right? Or how many were aborted, right? Even us who are like pro-abortion here, I think it would like sit on your mind a little bit if you had like this many siblings aborted. Right. Like my man, my man, was he was like handing out abortions like candy. <laughs> you know, I feel like because abortions like they're still like they're pretty heavy. Right. They're pretty heavy. Like these like conservative households are already like pretty bad for kids. And now like this guy had to grow up through this. And not only this, a, a guy who had to they had to move multiple times because Herschel Walker again and again and again attempted to kill them. 
I feel pretty bad for him. You know, he's still working through. This is like lifelong sort of like trauma that he's has to work through. On top of that, Herschel Walker texts him every single day. I love you, son. I love you, son. I love you, son. And he and dude, if you remember this, like Christian, like Herschel Walker tests Christian Walker every single day. Like, I love you, son. I love you, son. And then Christian Walker text back once and said, what's my birthday? What's my birthday? And Herschel Walker didn't know. And he had to just say, I care about you more than anything else. He had no clue what his birthday even was. His own son, his eldest son. Eldest, it's not even like, it's not even like you pump out a bunch of babies and you have like 10 kids and you can kind of forget like some of their birthdays sometimes, especially the ones in the middle. But like, he's his eldest son, you know? He doesn't know his birthday. He doesn't know anything about him. That shit's sad, okay? That's sad. And none of the conservatives cared. None of them care at all. They never care at all. Ever. And they never will care. And they because they don't care about Christian Walker. They don't care about family values. They cared about dunking on the libs. All right. At the end of the day, what uh, what Elijah Safer said was literally, I don't care if he tried to kill you and your mom and lies about his family constantly. He wants to own the libs epic style. So no matter how many times he tries to kill you, I'm going to vote for him because owning the libs is way more important than making sure that you're alive. That's all they care about, okay? And so put yourself in like Christian Walker's shoes. I know, I'm sorry. But for a moment, I can understand why he goes so hard on these people. They really, really deserve it. And you're right, it was coerced abortion. It was a, this will make me look really bad. I can't believe you got pregnant, you whore. Get an abortion, I'll pay for it. It it was that type of thing, which is pretty bad, right? I, I must say, Herschel should be in prison, maybe. But all I know is that Christian Walker... He deserves to dunk on these. He, he deserves to blow off some steam on these guys. Absolutely. They are simply just bad people um, who never cared about him, his family, anything. Never cared about actual family values or anything. Because if they did, they would have known exactly what was going on and wouldn't have touched it. They wouldn't have touched Herschel Walker with like a 20-foot pole. But they don't. So obviously, they just all they were looking for was their money. All they were looking for was a new seat. And they couldn't care less how many people they had to step on to get in the way. Really didn't. They really didn't. It's pretty sad. It's pretty fucked up, I gotta say. But you know what's not fucked up? The massive L that Elijah Schaefer took while trying to dunk on this honestly poor child. <laughs> I must say, this suffering child. He absolutely deserved it. Fuck you, buddy. Eat shit. Um, I hope you get divorced and uh have fun digging your way out of this hole. Uh try not to uh, try not to assault any women on your way back out. <laughs> Div shit. Oh sorry, I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. (laughs) Thank you, Boo.